Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Devin from Weston Audio again with a demo video of a new module. I know it's been a while, but I continue to work on cool stuff, and here is one of those things. So let us get started, and um, I'm going to just turn the reverb off on this thing real quick and turn the bass machine off. Okay, so what we have here is 2v2 dual analog oscillator VCO. Um, and this is kind of, I thought it would be nice to do a dual VCO since that was my very first module I did back in 2018. And uh, yeah, this has a lot more goodies and we'll just get right to it. So basically each half is an identical analog VCO and they are controlled with the volts per octave input on either side. Although there is a solder jumper on the back where you can make this side inherit the volts per octave input on the right side when it's not connected. And I don't have it that way, so if I pull this out, it's just free running. Each VCO can go into LFO territory with the press of this button. Now, of course, you don't hear anything. But lo and behold, it's an LFO or a dual LFO, voltage controlled. Let's turn this back up. Each side has a number of inputs. You've got a nice sine wave and you've got the triangle. It's a triangle core VCO and saw, which we just saw, haha, -ha. and pulse. Okay. And sub octave square. A lot of good outputs for 16 HP. So let's go back to the sign. And one of the nice things, and I think unique things about a dual VCO of this size, is that each side has modulation of exponential variety or through zero linear. It's got a really nice rich FM that is very accurate and can be pushed into pretty high frequencies. But not only that, but each side has a VCA in it, like the, if you might have the TZO VCO module that I also make, it's got a similar thing where there's a env in input where you can feed an envelope or whatever, and now that TZFM, the through zero FM, is being modulated by the envelope that I had previously going to the filter. So this can be really useful for one or two of these units you could use for making some uh, kind of FM algorithms of your own, but strictly in the analog world without taking up a ton of HP. Now, let's go back to triangles. And the right side, everything's identical on the right VCO to the left, except that the right one can be synced to whatever frequency this is at. With this switch right here, we can do a soft sync. You can see the blue wave on data 
is reversing as a soft sync or hard sync where it resets the wave per each sync point. So you can get some cool stuff going with that. And then maybe I'm mixing the uh, TZFM back in with the sync. You can start getting some pretty harsh sounds that way. And that's kind of fun. Each um, pulse input, each pulse input has a PWM, which is, there's, it doesn't have an attenuator, so you need to go ahead and that we've got PWM on either side. Okay. So there you have it. Um, I don't want to make this too in-depth of a video, um, but just so you can kind of hear the sounds and see the features that this 16 HP dual analog VCO has. So if you're looking to get into one of these, the first thing that's going to appear is a through-hole DIY version, which will uh, I'll have um, panel and PCB and knob sets, where I'm now also including these switches because the other part that was being used was obsoleted. Now I have a replacement and they come with the set. It's uh, so that that's gonna be the DIY option that comes out first with all the typical build documentation and all that. And then to follow, there will be pre-built surface mount units and they'll be functionally the same, but two PCBs deep instead of three, just due to the space that these take up. All right. Well, I think that about covers everything. And uh, feel free to give a shout out if you got any questions or uh, comments or whatever. And uh, happy Euro racking. <laughs>